the food and beverage service session. Dear students, today we shall be discussing about a very interesting topic. We shall be talking about food and beverage service terminologies beginning with alphabet C. Before we begin, let me take this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Yogin Fasil Tanwar, Assistant Professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. If you have any doubts, dear students, you can drop me a line on my email address, which you can see on your screen right now. So let's begin our session. So before we begin, let's understand the objectives of today's session. Objectives of today's session are familiarization with food and beverage service terminology. Caviar. Caviar is roe or eggs from the sturgeon family of fish. It is considered a delicacy often eaten raw as an appetizer. Next terminology is comping. Comping a meal or dish means giving it free or complimentary to a guest who may either be a regular patron, one of some commercial importance to the establishment or even one whose experience at our restaurant has not been up to the mark. Next terminology is camper. A camper is a busy restaurant least favorite kind of guest. The term refers to someone that has already paid for and finished their meal but will not leave their table. Campers lead to a longer wait time when a restaurant is packed and on a wait list. Next technology which is used by food and beverage service staff is corner. This is what servers often yell when they are rounding a corner, usually in or near the kitchen, to alert anyone else who might be walking towards them that they can't see. This helps to avoid any accidents or collisions, especially when people are holding dishes, cups, plates of food. Next terminology is check presenter. It is also known as a bill holder. This is leather folder that waiters and waitresses use to deliver the check to the guest. In return, the guest reviews the bills and encloses cash or credit card back to the waiter. This is a picture of bill presenter. Check back. This refers to when a server checks on how the guest meal went while also dropping the check at the same time. Dear students, here I would like you to recommend that do not check more than twice when the guest is having their meal. Otherwise, you will end up disturbing the guest. Next terminology is chef's table. Now, a chef's table experiences probably one of the most luxurious ways you can dine at a restaurant. With its location right in the kitchen, chef's tables are reserved for special guests only and provide them with a custom curated dinner that they would otherwise not get in the normal dining room. Next terminology is cooked to order. This is a type of dish that is cooked to a guest specific instruction. Next terminology is cover. Now, there are a couple of definitions of cover. It refers to the table setting laid out for a single guest or the number of guests that can be seated in the restaurant. Cover is also a space on the table allotted for tablewares to guests to consume their meals. Next one is carousel. Now carousel is a circular counter that revolves to display the food items. The carousel is fitted in such a way that the one side is always inside the kitchen 
and other side is in the service area. As a carousel revolves, the counter is filled up from the kitchen and guests selects the food as it revolves. Terminology is French. It is known as carte de jour. Carte de jour means card of the day. It is used to highlight the special dishes of the day. Carte de jour is actually a supporting menu to the main menu. Next terminology is chefing dish. It is a hollowware used to keep the food warm, usually in buffet service. Chefing dish has a water container, which is the base food container and the place for fuel. Using the fuel, the water is heated up. In turn, the food is heated up with the hot water. Dear students, next terminology is condiments. Now, condiments are spices, sauce, or any other food preparation used to enhance the flavor or to complement the dish. Examples of condiments are ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard sauce. Next terminology is cafe. Now, cafe is synonymous with coffee shop. A cafe is usually refers to a small restaurant where snacks or light meals are served with drinks, which may also include alcoholic beverages. Next terminology is casual dining. Now, casual dining is a type of restaurant which offers a casual ambiance and a food at moderate prices. Table service usually involves food being served either pre-plated or on platters with or without a buffet option. Next terminology is CCG. It is abbreviation for cutlery, crockery and glassware. It is easy to refer in one cluster as CCG in restaurant business. Dear student, let's talk about chaser. What is a chaser? Chaser is a drink that immediately follows another drink. For instance, a beer after a stilt shot of hard liquor. Next terminology is corkage. Corkage restaurants that allows guests to bring their own alcohol may levy a charge called corkage for consuming liquor bought off the premises. Crumbing. In the restaurant, the term crumbing refers to clearing the table of food crumbs between courses with the help of small brush or waiter's cloth. Now, next term is cyclical menu. Now, this type of menu refers to that changes daily for a certain number of days. For example, from Monday to Friday and then repeats again. Cocktail. Any mixed drink prepared using alcohol is known as a cocktail. Next terminology is crockery. Plates, dishes, cups and other similar items, especially ones made of fine bone china or porcelain are referred to as crockery. Next terminology is cutlery. Cutleries refer to knives, forks and spoons used for eating or serving food. Now, cutleries can be made of stainless steel or EPNS. EPNS stands for electroplated nickel silver. Next terminology is to clear. Clear is a verb. Clearing refers to removing finished or unused items from a table. For example, in restaurant terminology, we use it as a clear the table. Next terminology is creamer. It is a small container to pour milk or cream in coffee or tea. Now, next terminology is corkscrew. Now, corkscrew 
is also referred to as a Peters kit or a wine opener. It is a tool for removing the cork from the top of a wine bottle. Please look onto your right for the process, four steps of removing the cork from the wine bottle. Coffee maker. Now this refers to a machine that dispenses coffee into a glass container for pouring coffee round. What is coffee round then? Now it is an offering of coffee and refills around a section of a restaurant. Usually the waiter take, takes the coffee around the restaurant for refilling or for the second service. Complimentary. What's complimentary? Complimentary is free of charge. For example, the desserts are complimentary because the dinner, dinner took so long. Next terminology is cappuccino. Cappuccino is coffee made by topping espresso with a creamy form from steamed milk. A small amount of steamed milk is also added to the cup. The form surface is sometimes dusted with sweetened cocoa powder, nutmeg, or cinnamon. Dear students, next terminology is catering. You might have heard this terminology a lot of time. The meaning of this is the provision of food and drink at a social event or other, other gathering. Types of caterings. There are basically two main types of catering on-premise catering and off-premise catering. On-premise catering refers to food prepared and served in the same location to a group of people. Off-premise catering is food that is prepared in a kitchen and transported to the location or sometimes cooked at event location as well, where it will be served to a group of people. Comment card. Now, what is a comment card? It is a piece of paper that customers or guests are given to record their dining experience in the restaurant. Seen on the label of many Bordeaux wines and wines from across France. The word chateau in French literally means castle, but in the wine business, it refers to wine producing estate which is normally a combination of vineyards, cellars, and any buildings on the property, which in some occasions include a real estate. Next terminology is cigar. Cigar is a cylindrical roll of tobacco for smoking, consisting of cut tobacco filler in a binder leaf with a wrapper rolled spirally around the bunch. The Spanish word cigarro from which cigar is derived probably was an adaption of cigar, the Mayan term for smoking. Cognac, pronounced as cognac. Cognac is a brandy made primarily from a blend of grapes that include Uniblanc, Folie Blanc and Columbert varietals. At least 90% of the brandy must be comprised of those grapes. Next terminology is Campari. Campari is a popular bitter Italian aperitif. The brilliantly red color spirit is made of a propriety blend of herbs and spices. Mm. It has a very strong bitter flavor highlighted by orange that is an acquired taste, but an enlightening one. Campari is enjoyed throughout the world and is an iconic before dinner drink ingredient for cocktails. Next terminology is cruet set. Cruet set is a set of pots to hold salt and pepper. Consomme is a strong, rich, flavorful soup made by concentrating and clarifying stock. The word consomme means completed or concentrated in French. Now, champagne 
is a very interesting term. Champagne is the wine by definition must be made in the Champagne region of France. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier are the three main grape varieties used to make Champagne. Champagne is produced in a variety of styles and a number of sweetness levels. Method Champagne was is the traditional method by which Champagne gains its fish. The Champagne region is located in northeast France and is divided into five growing areas. All Champagne is sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine can be considered Champagne. Coffee. Now, coffee is a beverage made by percolation, infusion, or decoction from the roasted and ground seeds of coffee pot. It's widely cultivated in warm regions. Arabica and Robusta supply most of the world's coffee. Dear students, let's watch, let's watch a small video about coffee here. I hope you might have enjoyed the video. Let's watch the next term. Cheese. Cheese is a dairy product derived from milk and produced in wide ranges of flavors, textures and forms by coagulation of the milk protein casein. It compromises proteins and fat from milk, usually the milk of cow, buffalo, goats or sheep. During production, the milk is usually acidified and the enzymes of rennet are added to cause the milk proteins to coagulate. The solids are separated from the liquid and pressed into final form. Let's look at some of the examples of cheese. Camembert is from France, Cotija from Mexico, Chevrolet from France again, and Cheddar from England. Next terminology is Caesar salad. A Caesar salad is a green salad made from romaine lettuce and croutons dressed with lemon juice or lime juice, olive oil, egg, Worcestershire sauce, anchovies, garlic, Dijon mustard, parmesan cheese, salt, and black pepper. Next terminology is cafe complex. The term cafe complet is widely used in continental Europe and means a continental breakfast with coffee as the beverage. The term the complet is also used with tea as the beverage. Now, cafe simple or the simple. Cafe simple or the simple is just a beverage. It may be coffee or tea with nothing to eat. Cabernet Sauvignon is a variety of red grape used principally in wine making or a wine made from Cabernet Sauvignon. Continental breakfast. The traditional continental breakfast consisted of hot croissant, brioche or toast, butter and preserves and coffee as the beverage. The current trend in the continental breakfast menu is to offer a wide variety of choice including cereals, fruit, juices, yogurt, ham, cheese, assorted bread items, and a wide selection of beverages. Now, this is again a very interesting term, Cointreau. Cointreau is a liqueur, one of the biggest and best known orange liqueur in the world. Produced since 1875, it has been the best-selling triple sex since it first appeared 
country of origin is France. Cinzano, one of the original Vermouth created in Turin in the mid 1700s. The original Vermouth Rosso has been followed by a range of other variants from the famed extra dry to special editions produced in conjunction with fashion labels and celebrities. Despite the growth and their status as a household name, they still stick to their guns and produce a core range of traditional vermouths. Cinzano is an Italian brand of vermouth. Now what is a vermouth? Vermouth is a fortified wine that is flavored with a variety of herbs and spices. Cambot is a premium liqueur produced in the Loire Valley of France. An infusion of raspberries, blackberries, and the exotic flavors of blackberries, blackcurrant, Madagascar vanilla, and exo cognac. Cambot creates a more extraordinary cocktails. Crème de Cassis is a sweet, low-proof liqueur made from French black currants. Deep red in color, it can be found in a few popular cocktails and is often paired with wine. Crème de Commerce Cassis is commercially produced in Burgundy, France. Cassis means black currant in French. You can see on the screen the various brands which produce Crème de Cassis. Now we will talk about premium Curaçao liqueur and blue Curaçao. Now Senior Liqueur is a company which is producing premium authentic liqueurs. Now what is a Curaçao? It's a genuine Curaçao is made with the dried bitter peels of the Laraja known as the golden orange of Curaçao that can only grow on the Caribbean island of Curaçao. Now, Curaçao is a Caribbean island known for its colorful sights, joyful character and tropical blue sea. This is the picture of Curaçao liqueur. Now we shall talk about Captain Morgan rums. Now, Captain Morgan rum comes under three varieties original spice gold captain morgan dark rum and captain morgan white rum now it is manufactured by diago company country of origin is jamaica it was first introduced in 1944 and alcohol by volume is 35% just a little history of captain morgan's rum in 1944 the Seagram's company, based in Canada, started producing rum under the name Captain Morgan Rum Company. Seagram CEO Samuel Brockman purchased a distillery named Long Pond from the Jamaican government. Captain Morgan is a brand of flavored rums produced by British alcohol company Diago. Next term is cane. Cane is a hot red pepper derived from a species of powdered capsicum and accompaniment with oysters and smoked salmon. Carafe is a form of glass bottle or jug used for the service of wine or water at the table. May also be defined as a decanter. Cava is a term used to indicate Spanish sparkling wines made by the traditional method. Chowder, creamy thick soup or stew made from shellfish, especially clams and vegetables. Example, clam chowder. Now, what is cordial then? Cordial is a fruit-based sweet, non-alcoholic drink, also termed for concentrated fruit squash, such as lime cordial. Canapes are small pieces of bread, usually toasted and of varying shapes or dry cracker water biscuits covered with a variety of savory items and then served as appetizers. Cocked is a spoiled wine due to a faulty or moldy cock or because of bad stove. 
storage. Crap. Thin pancake with sweet or savory filling. Croutons are referred to as fried bread used as a garnish cut into small cubes for soups and some salad dishes. Example, Caesar salad. Caffeine is a bitter white alkaloid found in tea, cocoa and coffee and is used as a stimulant. Dear students, these are some of the references I have used here. Food and Beverage Service, 9th edition by John Cousins, Dennis Lillycrab and Susan Weeks by Hodder Education. And I have also used the terminologies which I have gathered while I was working in the industry. On this note, I would like to thank you all for listening. Please like and subscribe the channel and also attempt the quiz related to the topic through the link provided in the description of the YouTube video. Once again, thank you very much for listening patiently and thank you for your time and attention. See you in next video. Until then, happy learning. Have a great day. Bye everyone.